An historic election night for two Metro Detroit communities, Dearborn and Hamtramck, electing their first Muslim mayors. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner live in Dearborn for us where the voters have spoken and culture changes are happening, Jim. Let me add one more to that list. Dearborn Heights just up the road from here. More on him in a second. These mayors are following other Arabs and Muslims who've been voted in by the voters in elections and other offices driving this change. Early this afternoon, the call to prayers in Hamtramck. A 27-year-old Arab born and raised here is the elected state rep for Hamtramck and parts of Detroit. Throughout that process, I, I happen to be someone who uh, prays a little differently than, than, than some folks in, in my district, but that doesn't negate the fact that I'm fighting uh, for our community. It was September of 1987 that Pope John Paul II made world history, visiting Hamtramck, also known as Pole Town, for decades a majority Polish community. Today inside the Yemen Cafe in Hamtramck, this resident has lived here 50 years, lived through the cultural changes, and the visit by the Pope. Oh yeah, I was here. And now you have a new Muslim mayor. I uh, don't matter, I don't matter, <laughs> no different. The owner of the cafe tells us having one of their own is a big step, but they also need to do the job, no free rides. Uh, we have to test him, like four years, if he's doing good, we're going to tell him more welcome. The new Hamtramck mayor is Amir Ghalib, a newcomer to politics. We couldn't reach him today. The new mayor of Dearborn is 31 years old and is in office as an elected state rep. He talked with us last night after winning 2-1 to one over a longtime county commissioner and state rep. I'm just humbled, honest to God. I'm just a child of Dearborn. Dearborn is my hometown. and I'm doing all I can to give back to the community that provided myself and my family with everything. The publisher of the Arab American News has been watching Dearborn evolve in his four decades here. He marks this culture shift to the late Dearborn mayor of the 1980s, Michael Guido, who died 15 years ago. The mayor in 1985 was, uh, was elected based on a flyer that he put out talking about the Arab problems. Uh, today, 38 years later, uh, we're talking about the problems, are, the Arabs are solving the problems. Yeah, and here is his newspaper, the Arab American News, where he urged his readers, let's make history, and the Yemeni American News, who will be Dearborn's next leader. The voters have spoken. Just up the road from here, Dearborn Heights, there's a third Arab American mayor, Bill Bozzi. He had been appointed by the city council back in January, but was elected by the voters to stay in office. 72% of the vote yesterday up in Dearborn Heights. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News change is coming. Jim, thank you.